can someone tell me what this means? I'm scared. Excuse me, radio. I'm talking. Is that like the battery or, or what is that? I'm actually terrified. Is my car going to explode? Oh my God, you guys. So I have had the worst sty, which in Mexico we call them perrillas. I had it right here and I don't have it any. Well, it's still very small. It doesn't hurt as much. Actually, it doesn't hurt. It just itches. Um, but it, I, it was like a big ball. I don't know why I get those, but sometimes I get those. Anyways, come to figure out, I turned on my car a few days ago and Pearl is sick. Pearl is so sick. Está enfermita, pobrecita. I don't know what that thing means. I'm scared to be left stranded in the middle of the highway. I don't want to be on the beltway and just have Pearl stop. Just imagine, 495, rush hour, me, don't know what to do. I don't know if I, I drive an automatic car. I don't even know if these cars have a neutral so I could just push it to the side in case she stops. So Pearl is on right now. She, she seems fine, right? She seems fine, look. She seems fine. I just don't, she's not going to explode, right? I'm going to the dealer right now. I don't know how much they're going to charge me. I don't know if I need, what if she needs a new motor or like a new battery? How much is a new battery? Is it like a thousand dollars? I don't even know. I'm scared. I'm scared, honestly. I've never had Pearl give me any issues. She's never been sick. I always get her her uh, oil changes on time. I get her checked up frequently. You know, when it's time for her to get checked up, I don't understand why she's sick. I'm scared. I don't want to drive. I really don't want to drive. It's like a 20, 25 minute drive all the way to the dealership. Que Jesús me agarre confesada because I don't know what to do if my car stops. I really don't. So yeah, now I'm terrified of being stranded on the street, uh, of having Pearl explode, and of being charged like thousands of dollars for something. Like, and that's the thing, like I don't know mechanics because I just don't. So what if they tell me it's Z and it's really B and they're gonna charge me for Z and then I'm gonna have to come back and get B done again. Like, how do I know that what they're doing is right the first time and they're not hustling me? Like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know if that's a battery or like, what is it? Pearl's motor is so big. What if I have to get a brand new motor? What am I gonna do? Like, how much is a brand new motor? I don't know. I'm going to the dealership and you guys are coming with me. <laughs> okay, so I am at the dealership and they're looking at my car and we'll see what it is. It's something in the motor. It's not the battery, um, but they have to look at it to see what it is. Aren't they so cute though? It's pink. Hello, hello, hello. So it's Sunday. I went to the car dealership on Friday and they gave me very bad news. I'm gonna go get something to drink and then Amores, I'll tell you about the terrible news I got about Pearl. So let me tell y'all. Déjenme les cuento. Let me just get comfortable. It is unjustifiable that car parts are so expensive. From where? From where exactly are car parts so expensive? Ouch. Oi, quítate. Ay, ay, ay. Let's get rid of this. My hair is so long, y'all. It just, it, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. Where do people get the goal or the audacity or why do people think they can charge car parts so expensively if that's even a correct conjugation i went to the dealership because as you saw pearl has an issue with her motor so i thought maybe she needs a liquid 
Maybe she needs to just have her checkup, which she shouldn't because I took her to the dealership to have her oil changed and have her checked her up in October, okay? It's not time for her oil change. That's fine. If my baby needs work, she'll have the work she needs. But I didn't know it was going to be this expensive. Where do people, I mean, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand why car parts are so unnecessarily expensive. I already have to buy it from you. Why are you making it unaffordable to me? Pearl's illness, Pearl's sickness, Pearl's misfortunes, Pearl's economic downfall comes from a part in the motor. I've seen Pearl's motor. Pearl's motor is enormous. It's very heavy. Turns out that I have to change Pearl's catalytic converter. I'm going to show a picture of what the catalytic converter is right here because I don't know what that is. But it's something that is used to catalytic convert something because apparently Pearl needs to catalytically convert certain things, certain elements in order for her to work catalytically, right? Catalytically. It's going to be $2,500 plus labor. So I'm looking about a bill of $3,000, a little bit less probably. I hope so. I don't know how much manual labor is for a car. Why? What is a freaking catalytic converter? And why is it so expensive? And what's the function of a catalytic converter? What does, what does a catalytic converter catalytically convert to or from? Or why is it $2,500? I treat my car very well. I, I buy the highest octane gasoline available on the market. I, I, she uses her PJs. She doesn't get direct sunlight all day. She gets her oil changes every time she asks for one. Why is it all of a sudden she is cat catalytically sick? It's going to be almost a $3,000 bill to which I ask, to which I ask, where did this cost come from? I mean, seriously, is it made out of gold? Is it made out of gold or platinum or it's evidently not aluminum, right? I mean, regardless, I'm taking Pearl to the dealership on Tuesday. And the reason I'm, look, I've asked two, three mechanics, three mechanics, and all of them said it's around $2,000 or a little bit more. I don't know. And I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad if... I'm somehow in the comments if I find out, hey, it's really not that expensive. Well, I've asked three mechanics. Like, I don't know what else to, where else to look. And at the same time, since I don't know anything about mechanics, I'd rather just go to the dealership. It's the catalytic converter. And the purpose of the catalytic converter is to catalytically convert certain elements. I don't know what it's for, honestly. All I know is that it's $2,500 and that it's it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to have to pay $2,500 for a body part of a car. It is, I'm sorry. You know, I was scared it was gonna be expensive. I thought it's gonna, it, I thought it was gonna be maybe $1,000, maybe $1,500. <laughs> no, no, cariño, no, mija, no, 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 te equivoques. <laughs> the only reason I did not have Pearl fixed already is because at the dealership, they had to order the parts for the catalytic converter, which tells me two things. It's not something dealerships have readily available for you, maybe because it's that expensive. And number two, it's not a single part. It's several parts. Because why would they tell me we have to order the parts of the catalytic converter and not we have to order the catalytic converter, right? So it's maybe several parts, but even so, can't they just fix the part that's broken? Or if one part is broken, is the whole catalytic converter broken? I mean, it's like if I said, oh, my vest, the zipper is not working. You're not going to 
replace the whole vest, right? You're going to replace the zipper. So I'm wondering if what they're telling me is, hey, we can only just replace the zipper, but we're going to replace the whole vest for you. God. I just, I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Like, and I did notice, oh, another thing. I did notice that Pearl is eating more gasoline than usual. She, I filled her up on... I filled her up on, I don't know, maybe three, four days ago. She's already eaten about two quarters of her, her tank. And I haven't driven around a lot. So the catalytic converter, I'm assuming, has to do with the consumption of gasoline. Somehow. Like, if that's not working, Pearl eats more gas. And if she eats more gas, maybe she's polluting more. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that I wonder if Pearl is polluting more. Oh, look at the birdies. Shh, listen. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Hola, pajaritos. Oh, I love birdies. Don't give me more mischief. I love pajaritos. I love pajaritos. They're pew, 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 pew. And I think they're so cute. Oh my God, you guys. Do you see the little birdie? Hola, mi amor. Hola. Buenos dias. Adios. This is Pearl's motor. And maybe that's a motor too. And maybe that's a motor, right? And maybe that's a motor. I know this is a battery, right? This is the battery. What is this? What the hell is that? Let's see. Well, it says not to do many things. But it's it has a tool here. Is this a toolbox? Oh my god. It's so dirty in here. I just don't want to touch anything. How do I... How do I open this? Hello, box. Maybe it's this way. Well, I know. You know what? I'm gonna break it more. Where is the stupid catalytic converter? I wonder if it's in here. See, it's a super deep motor, so it's like you, you see that here, but you go inside there. If we really look, it's a super deep, deep car. Maybe that's a catalytic converter. Or maybe that thing right there is a catalytic converter? Maybe that? Or maybe, oh, maybe that's a problem. See, it has a little rust there. Maybe that's the problem, the rust. Maybe it's this? Do I? You know what? No, I might break it. That's, um, that's Pearl. And somewhere in there, is, it's the catalytic converter. So, amores, that was it. That's the drama with Pearl. If you have any suggestions about the catalytic converter, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Muchos besitos. Muchas bendiciones. Thank you so much once again for watching. I know you are choosing to spend your time watching me, so I do appreciate it. Subscribe if you want and share this video also if you want. Hasta pronto.